Hi everybody, Jonathan Reeves here with another video and today is very exciting indeed. I've got my new MacBook M1 Pro has just arrived and I'm about to unbox it and do a bit of testing and take you on the journey with me to explain how it performs with the CAD software and rendering software that I use. So I do hope you enjoy the video. Remember to subscribe if you're new around here and let's get started with some unboxing and some testing. Okay, so let's get into it. You can see we've got a really nice outer bit of packaging here. I'm just gonna cut open carefully. And let's open this outer box. Quite well packed. Ooh, there it is. Look at that. Wow. So first impressions are quite solid and quite weighty, um, but that's probably because we've got the charger in there as well. And beautiful box as ever with Apple, very compact. And looks like we've got a nice new method of opening the box here. So I'm just gonna peel this back. I do love the way that Apple put, put some attention into even the way that you actually unbox and open the packaging. It's only a little thing that, you know, you spent so much money, um, it's quite a nice little treat to actually enjoy the experience. And there we go. So let's have a look so far. So we've got the new Mac Pro. Um, I'll talk about the one that I went for in a bit more detail. But here we go, you can see some specs on the back here. And just checking that that is the model I ordered, it is. So let's go for it, let's have a look inside. So very nice box. <laughs> um, it's not why you buy Apple Kit, of course, but they do make a extremely nice pack. So the exciting bit, let's lift out the MacBook get my first impression of the weight. Um, yes, okay, that so feels a little bit more solid and a bit more weighty than my previous model. But again, we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's just pop that to one side for a second. Here you can see we've got the new MagSafe charger, which is rather nice. Quite looking forward to trying that one out in a bit. We'll just leave that one there for now. And of course, I imagine, just lift this up. We've got all the basic instructions that you always get with Apple and the charger and there's probably a cable somewhere in there. Oh, actually, that is the cable already, so that's pretty pretty fine already. Okay, we'll leave all that just for now, um, and maybe I'll put it on to charge in a bit. But there we can see lovely, lovely packaging. But I think what you're all excited about, as I am, is to have a look at the MacBook itself. Ooh, lovely. There we go, MacBook Pro. That's nice, that's new. The sort of logo underneath, quite a big logo. And we'll just unbox this. It's a very nice noise when you open the packaging. Ooh, wow. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous thing. So my first impressions are very different shape to the previous model, but more similar to the generation before that. And I've got both here, so I'll do a comparison in a moment. Um, Really nice to see the additional ports as well as the MagSafe coming back. An interesting position for the headphone jack, slightly different. Then on the other side, we've got the HDMI port, uh, the SD card reader and another uh, Thunderbolt C connector as well. But here we go. Let's look at how we can actually open this thing up. So quietly lift up. Oh, you heard the noise. It chimes, the Mac chime is there. A little screen protector here. Let's carefully peel this off. And we'll just pop that to one side. <clears throat> and it's firing up. And that was remarkably fast. Um, and here we go. Sharing my first intimate moment with my new MacBook Pro with you. Here we go, it's saying hello, hello, all the different languages we could like. Fantastic. Bonjour. <laughs> Something that I can't pronounce, that's for sure. And maybe that's Chinese, perhaps? Ciao, Italian. Another language I'm not sure about. So very, very exciting. And you can see the screen, my first impression of the screen is absolutely gorgeous. Looks really vivid. Now you're not gonna pick that up on the video, of course that it looks super bright at the moment and very, very nice. The other thing I'm very impressed about is this gorgeous keyboard. I'm looking forward to having a little play on this because the generation before the keyboard was not the best in my view. 
and let's have a little look at how that feels. So I think we better wait until it says hello. And maybe we just click. There we go. So now we go through the usual setup. So what I'll do, I'll get this thing set up, then we'll come back and do some testing and we'll get some benchmarks going to use English eventually. Is the main language. Press the return key. Oh, very good voice. So it does a voiceover as well. So I'll hit return, we'll set up in English and I'll be back later to do comparison with the old MacBooks and a bit of benchmark and testing once we get to that stage. Well everybody, I've spent quite a bit of time today loading up my software, getting my new MacBook M1 Pro set up and I've got some exciting news to share with you and a few initial tests. Um, so let's get into this and have a look at the results. So just before we get started on the new MacBook M1 Pro results, I wanted to share with you my current MacBook Pro 15 inch uh, 2016 model. And it's a four core, um, and you can see here we go with the single core result of 837, multi-core results of 3320. So remember those numbers when we look at the Mac Pro next to this. And basically this has been a real trusty workhorse for me, um, but over the last few years I've definitely noticed it slowing down. So here we go, here is the single core, 1746 for the single core score, and an amazing multi-core score of 12,100. Now the GPU, or OpenCL score, is 35,714, which is absolutely massive. So things like Geekbench are useful in that you can kind of get comparative analysis. Uh, but one of my favorite benchmarks is uh, Cinebench. And you can see I'm just rendering uh, Cinebench in the background here. This is the new R23 version of Cinebench. So Cinebench R23 does come with Mac native Apple Silicon support. Uh, but what I can tell you is, wow, look at the speed already. Um, you can basically see all 16 of those processing cores rendering away. So those render buckets, as they're called, are ripping through that initial rendering um, at one hell of a rate. Now this, this basically, if this was on my old MacBook, I'd only have four of those cores and they would be a lot slower. Um, the other thing that I can tell you is that there is literally no noise coming from the computer. It's completely silent at this stage. And that is one thing that I've you know, been finding really annoying about my other computer. And um, the fans are spinning most of the day. It's quite noisy. And of course, one of the huge benefits of the new Apple M run processors is they use a lot less power. So that means a lot less heat generated. And that in turn should mean a lot quieter. So beautiful, quiet, peaceful workspaces are gonna be there for us. Now you can see the initial results are in, even though it's still running. And at the moment, the computer is being rated in fourth place, which is pretty phenomenal as the one above it is a 16 core Threadripper, which if you know anything about PCs, is an absolute beast of a computer. Um, so my little MacBook M1 Pro is right up there with the Threadripper. And you can see it's easily beating the in Intel Core i9s and the Ryzen 7s, even Xeons, uh, which basically were the chips that were used in the Mac Pro, with the iMac Pro just a few years ago. So, you know, I'm very impressed so far. Um, the speed is phenomenal. Now this is more of a CPU test. So bear in mind that the M1 Max and the M1 Pro have the same CPU, the 10 core. Um, so we're, you know, not gonna see too much difference on this particular test. So I'm quite excited to look forward to see what happens on uh, more sort of GPU type testing, which we're gonna do next. Now the Cinebench is completely finished now and I just want to show you this last statistic. Uh, as a single core, we're in second place and that is absolutely incredible. Okay, so next up we're gonna look at something called a Heaven Benchmark. Now this is just a free bit of software you can download. Um, so if you do wanna do a bit of benchmarking, this is very useful. Uh, it's really designed to test the kind of gaming performance you're looking at. Now for me, uh, that's important because I run a lot of real-time rendering software like Twin Motion, and to some extent Vector works as well. So I'm kind of keen to see, not that I'm particularly a huge gamer, although you never know, I might become one, um, what kind of performance we're getting from the GPU. 
So here we are, we're just sort of starting off on the benchmark and the first impression is it's running really smooth. Now if you look carefully in the top right hand corner, you can see the FPS or frames per second rate. And you know, it's hard to kind of say exactly what it is, but depending on the scene, it's ranging between 100, 70, 78, 80, that kind of frame rate. Now that's a very, very high frame rate uh, for this kind of laptop. So this is a really good sort of test of the GPU. Um, bearing in mind I've only got the 16 core GPU, I didn't go for the M1 Max, and I'll explain a bit more thought on that as we go through other videos, perhaps not necessarily today. Uh, just let me kind of enjoy the one that I've got so far. But I'm hoping that the choice that I've made is the right one, and by my first impressions, the GPU speed on this thing is very impressive. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting into running things like Twin Motion and a bit more Vectorworks, which we'll touch on a bit later. Okay, so we're just going to do one more gaming and GPU type benchmark. This is called the Valley Benchmark System. Um, it's similar to the Heaven one, um, but what I'm going to do here is just crank the settings right up to the maximum. So you can see highest resolution, uh, ultra settings, a uh, good level of anti-aliasing as well. So this is really going to push the system to the max. And you can see it's an incredibly detailed scene with like billions of polygons and lots and lots of trees and mountains and very nice sort of natural scene. It's actually a very nice um, benchmark to enjoy watching. But look at the frame rate again. We're getting 80, 90, sometimes pushing up to 100 frames per second. Uh, that is absolutely incredible. I think I remember doing this on my um, MacBook Pro when I first got it. And I was lucky if I was getting sort of 25, 30 frames a second. I'll have to see if I can sort of verify that and check. Well, everybody, thanks ever so much for watching. It's been a fun video to make, me looking at my new MacBook M1 Pro. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be looking at Vectorworks and Twinmotion and doing a lot more testing on serious sort of architectural applications. But I hope I've given you a bit of insight into the initial impressions of speed and power of these new machines. So really looking forward to getting uh, going on those other tests. So do make sure you're subscribed and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.